Honda has been on a mad tear recently, updating all of its most popular products. I mean, it seems like only yesterday that we got our first look at the next generation Pilot SUV. Okay, maybe it was Monday. Regardless, it's clear that the company isn't shy about modernizing its entire lineup, which is why we're here with this, the 2023 Honda Accord. The 2023 Accord adopts a graceful new style for its generation, which is a little bit surprising because A, the Accord is hugely important to Honda's business, and B, there wasn't that much wrong with the outgoing car to begin with. So why did Honda see fit to change so much about the new Accord? Let's find out. But before we jump in, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Now, let's jump back in. The 2023 Accord is smoother and sleeker than before, borrowing a few design cues from the Honda CRV. That means a trapezoidal front grille and these beautiful narrowed headlights that have darkened finishes on the Accord. There are a few problems that I can point out, namely this little intersection between the front scuttle, the hood shut line, and the character line that runs down the length of the car. It looks just a little bit messy and uncomposed. And if you're not paying super close attention, this front end can look just a little bit like a police interceptor. But otherwise, this vehicle is very cleanly styled and very attractive, especially down low where this simplified bumper design and these little silver vents just make it look planted and purposeful without any extraneous frippery. The side profile of the 23 Accord is just as simple and unadorned and attractive as the front of the car. This little character line that runs the full length of the vehicle is one of the few accents that you really see on the side, which helps the sheet metal and the paint do the work. There's also a little crease down at the bottom along the rocker panel that catches some light and helps the car look a little bit lower and a little bit more hunkered down. But overall, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. This is just good design, plain and simple. That's especially true as you walk around to the rear of the car. Bucking the trend of emblems that could double as wedding china, the Accord has a miniature looking H badge on the back, sitting in between some retro mod taillights that reside on a ducktail rear deck. When patent images of the Accord leaked a few months ago, I was a little bit worried that this would be a Civic Redux. Not a bad thing, but also not terribly exciting. And instead, the new Accord is thoughtfully designed and maturely executed. The interior hides one aspect of the Civic that's proliferating Honda's lineup. The brilliant mesh that wowed us back in 2021 that hides the HVAC vents also makes an appearance here, and although the shock value has worn off, it still looks great in the Accord, especially thanks to its unique pattern. Materials are pretty nice too, and there's no denying the appeal of the massive 12.3 inch center display, Honda's largest ever, that's standard on most trims of the Accord. Only the base LX and EX get saddled with a smaller 7 incher. In addition to being Honda's largest screen ever, this is also the company's first application of Google Apps, including a Maps function that works just as you'd expect, as well as the Google Play Store and Google Assistant that helps you operate your car most effectively. For example, hey Google, navigate to the nearest Honda dealer. All right, Long Beach Honda, let's go. First, the bad news. The old Accord's 2.0-liter turbo is gone, taking its torquey and smooth power delivery with it. The turbocharged 1.5-liter inline-four remains as the base engine, appearing the LX and EX trims with 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet, as well as a continuously variable transmission that's been tweaked for better performance and refinement. So where does that leave the Sport, EXL, Sport L, and Touring models then? Well, since Honda expects 50% of the 11th generation Accord sales to be electrified, those trims come exclusively with the company's new two-motor hybrid system, which mates an efficient Atkinson Cycle 2.0-liter 4 to an innovative electric power unit that acts as the car's transmission. In most driving situations, the EPU sends 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque to the front wheels, with the gas engine coming online as needed to charge the hybrid's battery. Rarely does the engine actually link up to the wheels, usually only in low load freeway cruising. I've sampled the powertrain once before actually in the CRV hybrid, and I found it to be impressively efficient and torquey around town, if a little bit thrashing at freeway speeds. I'll still miss the old Accord 2.0 T Sport and its wannabe Type R performance, but for most Accord shoppers, the thrifty hybrid will be a better fit. Mid-size sedans are rare nowadays, with only the Accord, Toyota Camry, and a handful of others occupying seats at an ever-dwindling table. But Honda knows that some customers still want sedans, and with the 23 Accord, they're targeting folks who value style, comfort, and efficiency. The 23 Accord arrives at dealers at the very beginning of next year, and although Honda hasn't yet announced pricing, I would be very surprised if base models cost more than $30,000. As to whether or not the torquey and efficient hybrid is enough to make us forget about that 2.0-liter turbo, you'll just have to stay tuned.